guys, Chloe here, back with another haul video. Kind of a smaller one this time, but yeah, let's get right into it. So first up, we have this uh, box set of a Korean manhwa or webtoon called Your Throne, which is one of my favorite webtoons. I have been trying to collect the physical copies for a while now, especially like these special editions that have like um, <laughs> pretty boxes. <laughs> So I already have the volume 2 that you can see, the yellow one, and so the one I really wanted was the volume 3 and 4 uh, box set um, that basically comes in a special little box and some goodies inside. So the reason I got this bundle with volume 2 is because it was cheaper for me to ship it um, using a Japanese proxy. Uh, buying it off Mercari Japan than it would be to just order the volume 3 and 4 special edition from the Korean webtoon neighbor store using a Korean proxy because um, apparently my country is classified as an expensive uh, country <laughs> to ship to. Yeah, so basically it was like way cheaper for me to just pay, I guess, aftermarket prices uh, from uh, Mercari Japan and ship it from Japan to me, then it will be to just buy it directly from Korea. I don't know. I don't know how that makes sense, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's actually start off with the volume two. Um, I thought I'd just like show you guys what's in there. I know that volume two actually has a lot more stuff than the volume three and four. So yeah, I'll just show you guys what's included in this. And the first actual item is this beautiful illustration board of Psyche. Um, there are like gold foil borders and stuff. And honestly, this is probably one of the best things in this box. Um, I do really like Psyche. So yeah, so this whole box is just Psyche stuff. Um, since, uh, the first volume was Medea, the, the main character one. So yeah, this is just a, I believe this is a mirror, um, I think it is, yeah. So I have no use for this, so I probably just keep it in the box until forever, probably. <laughs> so the next item is an acrylic stand with Psyche. Um, I actually won't be opening this because I do have the same one from my previous volume 2 that I have somewhere in my room. So I will just keep this one sealed for now. And then the next item, I think this is actually a letter set. So there's like an envelope and then one postcard in there. I'm pretty sure there's only one, but since I have no use for this and I see them purely as decorative stuff, uh, yeah, uh, I, I won't open this one either. <laughs> And then next up is a postcard set. So I'll keep this one sealed, but I'll show you guys the one that I opened up uh, from my previous volume too. Okay, here are the postcards. Um, so this one I actually had on my wall because it was one of my favorite um, arts of Psyche. Um, yeah, she looks really cool there. And then we have a postcard of the volume cover, I believe. And then just one of Medea, my girl Medea. And dude <laughs> and then oh, uh, oh. <laughs> we have psyche kissing arrows and then another one of psyche yeah out of all of them first one is for sure my favorite all right very quickly went through those and uh, actually before we get into the volume itself there is another illustration card um i don't know if that's supposed to be like a young psyche or if it's just like um a sketch of her but yeah, still really nice. And of course we have the manhwa itself. Um, it is paperback and not hardcover, but it's still really nice. I actually read it on Webtoon's app. I've definitely spent way too much on FastPass coins in the past, but now I'm just kind of letting all the chapters uh, come out so I can binge read it for free sometime later in the future. Oh, and there's also a bookmark that's inserted inside the volume. Yeah, very nice. Alright, so we just quickly went through the contents of volume 2. 
so that we can move on to volumes three and four because this is the one that I have been looking forward to for a while now. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> honestly the main reason I wanted this was because I wanted the box. Um, is it special? I mean, to me it is. <laughs> I just really wanted the box. Um, there was a cheaper listing um, that didn't have the box, but it had the volume. And I, no, I wanted the box. <laughs> so I got this one uh, for a little more. Uh, so yeah, let's just open it up real quick. I can already see the beautiful postcards. So yeah, uh, the first item here is um, an acrylic keychain of Heli, Heli, Helios, Helios. Um, I call him Heli personally. Yeah, it's very cute, but I won't be opening this up because I won't be displaying it anywhere at the moment. So yeah, just gonna keep him in his little packaging for now. And next up, we have the beautiful postcard sets. So the postcard sets are like my favorite parts of the special edition. They're like one of the main reasons why I buy them, um, other than to support the author. Um, if that even counts if I'm buying them aftermarket. But yeah, very gorgeous illustration of the day I hear. Of course we have Psyche in a similar uh, illustration. More Medea. If you can't tell Medea is actually really my favorite. <laughs> as much as I love Psyche, Medea is my girl. She's like absolutely unhinged. Amazing. Uh, we have Heli here. Medea crying beautiful tears. We rarely ever get to see her crying or showing any emotion other than determination. So, oh, Pell! I love Pell. He's like one of my favorite male characters in this um, webtoon. Love him. And then we have Psyche here looking determined and very cute. Love her. Ugh. And we have Eros here. Trash man. Garbage boy. I don't like him. And then we have all oh, Psyche. Smiling, brightening up our days, <laughs> uh, helping us to um, wash away the image of Eros. Oh, and we have Medea holding someone's hand. Wish that was mine, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's um, all the postcards. That's pretty much it for the goodies. And then we just have the volumes left. So here's volume three. Um, with Medea on the cover, the same one as the postcard from earlier. So yeah, very pretty. It's very similar to volume 2 except this has a purple foil instead of a gold. But yeah, I, I really do like the purple and of course it uh, matches Medea more. Um, yeah, we have another bookmark. Um, here we have Heli. And then we have Pell on the back. So um, the front side actually has a foil on it, and the back side doesn't. Alright, and moving on to the final item for this um, <laughs> manhua haul. It's volume 4, um, basically the same as the other two volumes. Um, like volume 2, this is Psyche centric. Uh, here is the bookmark before I forget again. Psyche on the front with uh, Medea on the back. And here's a quick little flip through. Um, I know some people don't like the art, um, especially compared to the beginning, um, but I don't know, personally, I really love it. Um, of course, there are times where it gets kind of funky with like really pointy noses and really long limbs, but yeah, I don't mind it. And here is the box that I basically paid a premium for. Was it worth it? Yeah, for me it was worth it. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the figures um, portion of this video. I guess this first item isn't really a figure. It's actually a, I think, cold cast resin. No, it's just a resin, um, I guess, um, sculpture. Um, so I got this from the Pokemon Center um, while trying to get um, the second uh, item in this part of the video. So this is a resin sculpture of Mimikyu. <laughs> it's 
So Mimikyu is actually... I want to say my favorite, but I do really like uh, Mimikyu. I think they're just really cute. Um, <laughs> got a bit of a spooky uh, backstory, but nonetheless very cute. A bit spooky, which I like. Um, honestly, for... I think this was like $20. Um, and for that price, it's actually surprisingly very good quality. I was expecting something a little more, I guess, jank. <laughs> I would say uh, a little more rough. Um, but yeah, um, I guess the only thing would be like the face is kind of like a sticker that's been stuck on. But everything else is um, really nice and it has a bit of a weight to it because it is made out of resin. Yeah. Very nice. And for $20, I would say it's a good deal. Maybe um, the size is a bit small, but yeah, very nice. I'm glad I picked it up. And moving on to our second item, it's um, the Marnie Nendoroid from the Pokemon Center. So um, this is actually my second time ordering her, or I guess my third time. So initially I got her from Ami Ami pre-order. But um, I wanted the Hangry mode, more Peko, which was exclusive to Pokemon Center, I believe. And so I canceled my pre-order on Ami Ami and ordered her from Pokemon Center back um, in February of last year. And um, if you also had her pre-ordered there, you know that it was delayed for like an entire year. So she finally released February of this year. But... Um, so she shipped out and um, it was via FedEx and they do not ship to PO boxes <laughs> and that's the address I used and um, I did try to change it before um, she shipped out but Pokemon Center would not let me do it and they told me to try changing it after she came in stock but by the time she was in stock, I wasn't aware that she had already shipped out. And when I was checking the tracking information, they said that she was delivered, but it was somewhere in Ohio. <laughs> and um, I'm not from Ohio. I'm nowhere near Ohio. So I had to email them saying that it was uh, delivered to the wrong place and that FedEx labeled it undeliverable. And they said that they would tell FedEx to forward it to my street address. But I didn't really have much faith in them, uh, just from previous experience. So I um, let them do their own thing there and just checked online um, at the Pokemon Center and to see if Marnie was in stock again. And luckily she was, so I ordered her using my street address this time. And um, yeah, so here she is, the one that I'm opening up right now. And I got the Hangry Mo or Peko as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess technically it is my fault for using a P.O. Box, but it's also Pokemon Center's fault for letting me use it in the first place and not telling me that it's not valid. Sorry, that was a bit of a rant. So after all that trouble, um, Marnie actually does have a bit of a paint transfer on one of her faceplates, um, which sucks, but um, I won't be using this faceplate. Um, I actually ha I want to use the one where she's like smiling like this. And she has both of her more peckles with her. Um, so the more peckles are kind of weird because they just kind of stand there. Um, they're, they're very unstable, I would say. I mean, they can like stand up, but if there was like a slight shake, they will topple over, um, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, uh, overall, I think this Nendoroid is really cute. Um, Marnie, she's just cute. And of course, Marpeko is very cute. After like looking at this, I don't know if it's because I had such a bad experience, but I do really like the default Marpeko more. Um, but it is nice having the hangry mode too, um, so I can have two of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, very cute Nendoroid overall. I would say though that the box is one of the ugliest Nendoroid boxes ever. <laughs> so next up is this amazing one eighth scale cold cast resin of Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy VII. 
<laughs> if you couldn't tell from that giant Tifa statue in my background, um, I am a very big Tifa fan. She is my favorite Final Fantasy character, probably of all time. Um, <laughs> So yeah, this is the 1998 version of these of this figure of this of the statue. <laughs> um, and as you can tell by how faded the box is, it is really old. Um, but yeah, uh, she popped up on pre-owned a couple of weeks ago, and my friend sent me a link to her. And I don't even think I thought about it for even a minute before I had checked out. Um, I just knew I had to have it because. One, it's old Tifa, which I just find funny. <laughs> and two, she's giving me a thumbs up, which I think is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I I do I have to get her. Like even if I wasn't a Tifa fan, I would still get her because this figure is just amazing. She actually arrived to my place like a day before her birthday, um, which I kind of forgot about um, because I'm a fake fan. But yeah, I thought it was like really good timing, but um, unfortunately I couldn't open it until um, just now. So yeah, but I'm really excited to open her up now and kind of just have her... Um, I don't know if I'm going to put her on my Final Fantasy shelf or put her next to me while I work so that she's giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> but yeah, here's the base. Um, has a nice weight to it. Um, whoever owned this before is evil because the... Um, game logo isn't centered and it doesn't really align with her nameplate or name sticker part. But yeah, so that's a bit annoying. But yeah, the base itself, um, all things considered, is really nice. Um, I didn't really expect this for such an old figure. And of course, here's Tifa looking amazing um, in her original design. <laughs> and she's giving us a thumbs up. I love this so much, guys. <laughs> so I got this 1A scale cold cast resin of Tifa from Ami Ami pre-owned in CB condition because she was missing the um, certificate thing that I mentioned earlier. So I paid just about 8,000 yen, I believe. Um, yeah, so she was like really cheap and um, so it was like a really easy decision for me to get her. One being that I really love Tifa, and the other being that she was so cheap. And despite being such an old figure, there's like little details like the materia on her gloves, and the studs, and even the shading on her boots. Um, I actually really like them. And of course, the shading on her hair is actually really nice with the different tones of brown. Yeah, so this Tifa is like a thumbs up. <laughs> a Tifa thumbs up. I wanted to compare the quarter scale Tifa on the right with the 1 8 one and it's basically like two smaller Tifas, two and a half of them. I don't know, it's just funny how small she is. <laughs> Alright, our next and final figure is the 1 7 scale Sakurajima Mai by Aniplex Wing. Um, so I thought this figure was actually supposed to release in a few months. But it released back in April, I think. And um, so when I got a notification that um, a package got shipped out, I was like, oh, what did I order? <laughs> and when it turned out to be her, I was kind of shocked because I really thought she was coming in like July or something, maybe August. So this is kind of like the opposite of a delayed figure uh, for me personally. Which, is, which I'm fine with, but it, I was like kind of confused at first. Yeah, so I mentioned before that this um, particular figure of Mai was something that I've wanted for a while, but never wanted to get because of her really high aftermarket prices. I really do like Mai, but do I like her enough to pay high aftermarket prices for her? Not really. <laughs> um, even though they're like really pretty figures. Um, yeah, that's a no for me. Yeah, so here's the base. It's like a kind of like a semi opaque um, white. It's really simple, but it's still really nice too. So I got my from Tom for about $150 with free shipping. I did use some points, so um, I'm not really sure how much I paid. 
uh, out of pocket, but my invoice says $150, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so this figure, it's pretty simple. Um, I love the way her hair flows as she's like turning her head, gives like a nice dynamic feel to it. And I also really like, this is gonna sound weird, but I really like whatever material they used for her leggings and like even like her skin. Um, I don't know, it's just like a, a softer plastic feeling, but like whatever material that is, I really like it. Um, yeah, I don't know if that sounded weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> the figure overall, very simple, very clean. I really do like it. That said, I give her not one, but two Tifa thumbs up. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. It was kind of a smaller haul this time and kind of like a mix of random stuff. So we got the Mai figure and the Tifa figure, a um, couple of manhwas, and of course the Pokemon Center items with the Marnie Nendoroid and the Mimikyu statue thing. So yeah, a pretty random assortment of different, I guess, media that I really like. Um, I do really like a lot of things. I will try to keep a theme to it, but it might be like this where it's just, just things I'm opening. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!